Hi. What I want to talk to you today is something that I call self-centered moralities. Um, self-centered moralities are moralities that uh, only take into account the moral standing and the moral opinions of the people who are making the moral judgments. So when a moral judgment happens, what it actually is happening is that somebody is observing an action or a statement um, from a perspective and then judging that perspective based on their own morals. And when you have self-centered moralities, you have people who only take into account their own positions. And what these moralities look like is very common in today, especially in media and especially in social media. Um, people looking only at their own intentions, motivations and interactions can cause harm with these well, to say, inattentive judgments, because they are inattentive. They don't pay attention to anything else but themselves. Um, many people only look at intentions or outcomes when judging actions or people, because that's what they see. That's what they see about themselves. They see about themselves, um, I have good intentions, I want to do something good. Um, so what I do is good by definition and um, with other people they can only see outcomes. They can't see intentions but they still look at intentions or more specifically they look at the, what they think are the intentions of the person and then again they look at themselves. Um, they look at themselves and think why would somebody do that and they because they only know their own information they assume that the person does a certain thing in order to do something bad or the opposite of what oneself would have wanted. For example, um, giving to the poor, giving giving money directly to the poor. Some people would say, oh, that's something good because they want these poor people to, to be better. And another person might say, uh, that, that poor person is now going to be even lazier because they get money out of it. And that's very dangerous road to go down because you're, if you only ever pay attention to your own information, um, you are going to get 99% of all moral judgments wrong because people aren't intrinsically evil. So um, when people try to defend their own actions, they often come with good intentions. They say, um, oh, I just wanted to do best. And that, again, is such an inattentive judgment because they haven't paid attention to the people around them. Of course, good intentions are something good, but I like the saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. That's because when you start justifying one thing that had a bad outcome with good intentions, you're opening yourself up to justifying everything you do with good intentions, because everyone more or less has good intentions. There are few actually selfish people, and everything can retroactively be fitted with a good intention. So this is actually something that people a long time ago noticed and they invented something in order to prevent it. Laws. Strictly written down laws, not laws enacted and judged by a single king, but by an anonymous, um, as inhuman as possible entity that can judge actions based on, on something other than its own viewpoint. And these written laws are often judging actions and not intentions. Only sometimes the severity and the exact nature of a crime is altered by an intention to kill, for example. Uh, if you hurt someone, it's, it's injury. But if you hurt someone with the intention to kill them, and that intention can be proven, then it's attempted murder. Two different things. But the action still remains the same. And that is what morals are for. That's what laws are for. And uh, one of the most important people uh, to talk about these kind of, of adamant, independent laws that only judge actions was Kant, um, who said that you can't really look at an intention for someone. Because if you go down the, that road, you could say, well, if somebody likes giving to the poor, he's not really a good person because he likes it and he only does it for himself. He's being selfish while giving things away. That's a stupid-ass statement. 
but one would realize just how stupid the judgment by intentions would be if we would go down that route. So people thinking only about what somebody else wants to create with that are inevitably going to misjudge them because they can't know what they want to intend with it. They can't look at intentions. They can't look at feelings. They can't look at the information and knowledge that person has. They can't look at the previous statements that they have not directly observed. If you really want to go and find out somebody's intentions, you have to ask them. And even then they can lie. So please don't try to justify anything you do with good intentions or accuse somebody else of having bad intentions. Because people very rarely have bad intentions. They either have good intentions and don't know how to make them happen or they forget about other things. Just like you sometimes forget about not judging people by their intentions that you perceive to be. That's all I have to say about this. And until next time, stay keen. Thank you.